Hi there, Dave Rowlings back again. Within mere seconds of having completed my excellent review of the Leon Paul Space Collaborative Back of Head Protection, I have something rather special for you. Now, this is a prototype. Yasek from Leon Paul has sent it to me. I'm very grateful to him for doing so. It goes a long way to address some of the issues we have with throat protection in HEMA. It's not entirely the answer I don't feel, but I think it's a very, very, very good step towards what we want. So without further ado, what we have is the Leon Paul prototype gorget. We've been fencing with this for about two weeks now, and I have to say in comparison to most of the stiff plated throat protectors we have, if not all of them, the mobility is a lot better. It has been commented on by one person that they felt it's uncomfortable in the lunge, but then I find most throat protectors when in combination with the jacket and the bib are exactly that thing. So here, I think this is a very, very good development. So what you have basically is a hard plastic gorget that hinges. I'm not gonna mention that it makes you look like Darth Vader, which is intrinsically much cooler than anything that doesn't make you look like Darth Vader, but hell. Okay, so here, what you have here, Velcro, fastens at the back, and then this plate. This plate has to be worn under a jacket or under a t-shirt in order to be efficient. Okay, I just want to say, I am your father. Now here, the idea is that you can move like so, and you can. There's not really very much discomfort in turning. As you can see when I'm turning, this isn't really affecting the movement of this too much. When it's underneath, I can turn quite comfortably. I can roll my neck from side to side. I can lean forward. You will notice when you come here that it compresses to about the thickness of actually maybe even a little bit less than your usual throat guard. So there's a good range of motion in there and it does lift with you, okay? Now, the points that I'm not entirely convinced that this is fully the answer is that we still have a big gap here. So there's a triangle usually that appears behind the mask about here to about here. Okay. Now this is still a vulnerable spot and I feel that to be honest this could be effectively done with an insert and overlay that comes over the top of this and just pads up to here. And the same here, I think it's worthwhile having something that's a little bit padded that just comes through here, something with a high Newton as usual. If we have that then we're very 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 close to having entire protection to the head, neck, throat area which is a very very good thing. Now. To, if you bear with me one moment, I'll just show you how this sits underneath the jacket. So, this is one of my favourite jackets at the moment. It's incredibly aesthetically pleasing. There may be a review about this in a few minutes, you never know. Okay, so, here. The reason I'm choosing this jacket is it's actually one of the most tight jackets in the throat region, so we'll be able to see whether it sits okay underneath this, okay? Now, There. So here you can see it does sit on top there and you will have to pull this out but again this lip actually keeps it out over the top of the throat guard which is a good or the sword catcher which is a very very good thing here there even in quite a tight jacket this is actually relatively comfortable. So I do think that this is incredibly good development. I'm going to show you a couple of what I regard as potential weak points and they really are just for the sake of clarity so that you can see everything that's a potential issue with this. Like I say I've already pointed out this point here. The only one that I can really see on this and it is a very very ridiculously low chance of this happening because you're basically you're going to have to go up under the bib and then back down. I'm mentioning it because over a long enough period of time, a potential becomes a probability in this case. So here, if you look down here, you have vertical spacing between the plates. Now obviously as the majority of thrusts hopefully are gonna come up this way or gonna be impacting against the bib this way, this really shouldn't be a problem, but it may be worth actually having something on here, again, high Newton fabric to eliminate even that chance, okay? That said, I think, to be honest, this is a fantastic product. For drilling, even, as a teacher, I think this is a fantastic product. I've actually found myself using this more to teach than I have in sparring. 
just because of that repetitive, oh, you're hitting me in the throat, oh, you're hitting me in the throat, oh, you're hitting me in the throat. This is a very, very good piece of kit for that. So if you're trying to teach your students accuracy, if you're trying to have something that just gives you that ability to take those repeated shots and get people to put them in the right place, this is an excellent piece of kit. So I'm looking forward to seeing this on the market. I'm looking forward to seeing how it develops to its final product. Yasek, you've done really, really well with this. Thank you very much for sending it to me. Hope it's been helpful. Take care.